one MAC team in the Division IV state final. How about two MAC teams in the Division III state final? Wabash Mutual Telephone Company proud to bring you the finals between Coldwater and Versailles, the MAC rematch with the D3 state title on the line. All white and orange for this D3 showdown. Coldwater starting in the near court. Elena Kanapke, the sneaky dump, 14 to 10, Cavs in front. Then it's Tasha Kollig. What a match she had, 19 kills. Beautiful control at 17-14. Versailles responds. Elizabeth Ording to the back corner. Tigers take a 20-19 lead. But the Cavs end the set on a run. Lauren Gilliland the tip. Coldwater wins 25-22. 18 kills for Gilliland. Versailles responds in the second. Daniel Winner sets and takes the set, 19-17. Then Ellen Peters sets Ording again. Versailles ties the match at 125-20. Set three, more Tiger ball blocked by Lindsay Winner. Makes it 24-19. Then Ording finds a way. It's 25-19 Versailles. Up two sets to one in the fourth, tied at 20. Coldwater blocked, Danielle Winner, an amazing shot. It's 21-20 Tigers, but again, the Cavs rally in this back and forth affair, scoring the last five points. Olivia Harlemer at the stuff, 25-21. We go to the fifth. Coldwater in the near court, Gilliland. Makes it a 4-2 lead for the Cavaliers, but the Tigers take over. Danielle Winner, crafty, making it 10-9. Winner again, what a match. 25 kills for her, five blocks. The Tigers win their second state volleyball title in school history, 15 to nine, avenging that loss from the regular season to Coldwater. Indescribable, I mean, the first day of practice, this is what we all talked about. We said yeah. we wanted to go to the state and we wanted to win. And today we're sitting here with a gold medal around our neck. We did it. Looking back in 7th and 8th grade volleyball, we were terrible. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, we were terrible. <laughs> cool, want to be just like 25 to 5. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty happy. <laughs> How about you guys? Yeah. Yeah. Seven 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 seven. Um, we, we knew it was going to be a battle. Um, I mean, we're, we both come from the MAC. We both essentially had the same schedule and preparation leading up to this point. Um, so we knew it was just going to be a battle. And we had a good feeling that it was probably going to go 5 as well. But um, again, we've just had that training. We had a battle against Miami East and we were just ready to take it on and, and enjoy that, enjoy that competition. Well, we had a few defensive breakdowns at crucial moments, but beyond that, I think that, we, you know, we knew going into this match that Versailles is gonna be one of the best defensive teams that we played. Um, and, and they did a great job, a lot of hustle and a lot of confidence. And I think that that's one of the reasons why they were able to have so many surges of points. It's definitely something to be proud of. Not many teams make it this far, and we did, and it's just exciting. Super proud of our team. Playing another Mac school was just, the atmosphere was so much, so much fun, and I couldn't be prouder. It was awesome. Everybody was all over the court, and, and it was just determination and leadership, as you can tell. <laughs> it really was. It was all on you guys. I mean, that's what you expect in the MAC, though. I mean, it's always about defense. It's uh, great block and quick girls, competitive girls, girls that never give up. They know how to work hard, um, and it's an expectation. So going into the match, we knew that was going to be important for us to work really hard on our side. If we would have played the fourth game to 15, we would have been good. So we, we had to just transfer that momentum and not let it rattle us. Even after the first game, we, we could have responded two different ways. We could have let it crumble and let them get more into their rhythm. Or we just stepped out. We, were, we got out to a 6-2 lead. So it was back and forth there in that fifth game, again, anticipating that battle. But then once we hit nine, I think there were five, maybe even six of the seniors on the court. And they just all looked at each other and said, let's go and, and finish it out. We knew it was going to be a battle. And Coldwater is such a good team. Um, but, I mean, we just prepared and, and kept grinding, chop wood, carry water. Um, so, I mean, it, it's just been a mentality that we've had all season. Seniors, you can speak on that a little bit. Looking back on season, we didn't play our best game against them, but that was kind of like our goal at the end. We couldn't face them again, and I think they might have had a little bit of confidence, extra confidence coming in, knowing they beat us in four in season, and I think we had the extra fire to drive us to win this game. It just speaks volumes. Um, we've come such a far, a long way. And you look at even just the OHSAA state tournament in general, there's been a representation from the MAC. So to be a part of it now as a coach um, is so exhilarating and just so, I'm so thankful to be a part of it. 
and feel very privileged to be in such a tough competition to where we get, get against teams like Teske Valley. Yeah, we know that they have their record, but we know that they also don't play the teams that we played. So it, it's just such a privilege to be able to have that. Um, and, and so exciting. I mean, we, we were all, even Coldwater, we were all here to watch Bremen. We, we all wanted them to win, and, and Bremen, a lot of them stuck around, even their fans stayed around. So I think that just shows the support of our community and, um, and how th that's such a blessing in itself.